This is Channel 4's More at Midday. Then, how to look like a wine connoisseur, even if you have no idea what you're doing. The Saucy Sisters are in our studio to give us some helpful tips. Do you ever feel silly when you order a bottle of wine at a restaurant and then the server stands there waiting for you to go through the whole process of smelling the cork and tasting it? Well, it can be uncomfortable, particularly if you're no wine connoisseur, but don't worry, there are ways to fake it. Today, we're getting some tips from the Saucy Sisters, Barbara Nowak and Beverly Pittman. Ladies, welcome to the show. Well, thanks, Casey. It's great to be here. to be here. You guys are just adorable. You're si you really are sisters. We Two are. years apart. And so close. Best friends, right? Best friends. Yes, yeah. And drinking buddies. Drinking buddies, too. And that's why you came up with this. So tell us a little bit about how this all came to be. You said you guys like to drink wine together. We've been, doing it, for a We've been doing it for almost a lifetime. <laughs> and still do to this day, right? We do. And, you know, when people go into a restaurant, and the whole experience can be intimidating. But our philosophy is it's really not so much how, you know, how much you know about wine. It's how much other people think you know about wine. Exactly. And we've seen people who, you know, go out to dine a lot, even, you know, business people really kind of sweat, you know, when they have to order the wine and the server brings it over and they're thinking, what do I do? Yeah, it can be a little <laughs> bit intimidating. So set up, the, set up a scene for us. What would a typical restaurant scene look like? Well, first, after you've ordered the wine, the server or sommelier will come over and then present the bottle to you. And you really want to uh, take a close look. You want to be sure it's what you ordered, the right wine, the right name, but particularly the vintage on there. Because uh, the year of the wine, particularly in the expensive wines, can mean a difference in big dollars. Right. I made that mistake once, and, and the <laughs> and wine paid for it. Paid for it big time. The wine was about seventy dollars more than oh my. just because of the vintage. Wow. <laughs> so that's something to look for. Yeah. And then once you decide to pick one, what do you do after that? Well, the uh, server will open it, and then what he's likely to do, particularly if he pulls a cork, is he's going to present you with the cork. And then someone who doesn't know, they're like, what do I do with this? Exactly. <laughs> and our advice is, ignore it. Okay. Ignore <laughs> and, the, and don't the, smell it. That, that will show you, know, you as a, a real... Um, rube. Rube. <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you want to impress people. So the only thing you're going to smell when you smell the cork is a cork. Right. So ignore okay. it. So ignore the cork. And then what else do you do after that? <laughs> well, we have something to make it easy. It's called the six S's. And we thought you might want to do this along with us. So we're going to pour you a little wine. Right. So these are the six S's to tasting wine. To tasting wine. So you're going to mm -hmm. kind of help us through the tasting ritual here. So what's the first thing you do? Well, the first thing you have to understand is the waiter is not being cheap by just pouring you this little part. Because <laughs> <I'm thirsty. laughs> this is just to taste. Right. But the, our first S is STEM okay. because we have observed that the more someone knows about wine, the lower on the stem they seem to hold the glass. Okay. Now wine geeks will tell you mm -hmm. that if you hold it by the bowl, you're going to warm the wine and change the flavor of the wine. And there is some truth to that, but this is mostly tradition. Okay, so hold it lower to the bottom of the glass. And the S, second S is yes. stare. And, right, you want to stare. And if you have a white napkin or something white, uh, hold it against the wine because what you're doing is you're looking for clarity. Um, there's reasons for all these S's, but basically just do it because you want to look the part. And, but here you want to really admire. Just look okay. at the color. <laughs> stare at it for a second. <laughs> and the next one you've probably done a million times if you had a wine glass, wine glass in your hand hand and that is swirl swirl because you're releasing the aromas into the very top of the glass and if you're not comfortable not a good swirler my sister is a great swirler <laughs> I'm not uh, and just go ahead and feel free to do it on the table okay and, mm -hmm. and be careful when you do this too Definitely. you don't want to make a mess no no That'll especially with red wine, wine. <laughs> and with red wine it could be awful exactly so you swirl it what do you need to look for when you're doing this is there anything in particular or are you just not looking what you want to do though is this is releasing the all the wonderful aromas because the next s is to smell okay and this is a lost art uh people don't take the time to really enjoy all the aromas so put your nose way into the glass way, oh, wow. <laughs> way in. i know you think you look silly but you're gonna let wow. everybody else know that you the, know what you're what you're talking much about stronger down Isn't there? It? Yes. Yeah. our, our <laughs> sense of smell is so much more acute than our sense of taste and we have friends who don't drink wine, but they, they just love the love the aromas. All right, so you're not mm -hmm. going to look silly at the restaurant doing this. Right? <laughs> no, not silly no. at all. They're 
look like a pro. You're a wine connoisseur, yeah, right? Exactly. So what's the next S? Well, it's my personal favorite. It's sip. It's sip. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd think that would be easy enough, and of course it is. But you want to, before you swallow it, you want to roll it around inside your mouth because different areas of your tongue recognize different flavors. So you want to get the full impact of all the flavors before okay. you swallow. So sip and <laughs> swirl it around in your mouth. Exactly. And then the last? Well, some people think swallow <laughs> or spit. Some, some people do spit. We don't but spit. <laughs> Ours don't waste is silence. Time. There's really no need to ruin the experience with some crazy words or terms that make you uncomfortable and no one understands anyway. Right. So just nod to your server or sommelier to pour the wine for your guests. All right, great tips there. <laughs> now let's quickly mention the book and also you have an event coming up. Yeah, our book uh, just came out this fall. It's uh, The Saucy Sister's Guide to Wine, What Every Girl Should Know Before She Unscrews. <laughs> and it's a, kind of a girl's guide. It's definitely uh, serious wine information, but in a fun way. And we talk in one chapter how to judge your man by the wine he drinks. Yes, and quickly, how do you do that? Well, we compare the grapes to the men's personalities, and they happen to be very similar. And we have a whole list of them uh, in the book, and we'll be talking a little bit about those at this event that we're going to be uh, we, we're going to be co-hosting um, come January 21st. It's a Saturday. All right. It's, we'll definitely have to check it out. Where is it at? Uh, it's in Franklin at the studio home of watercolor artist Gail McDaniel. Wonderful. And we'll get more info on your website. You can. Yes. Information on our website at saucysisters.com. All right. You guys are so cute. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> and to pick up a copy of the Saucy Sisters book, The Saucy Sisters Guide to Wine, What Every Girl Should Know Before She Unscrews, just log on to her website, SaucySisters.com. We have a link to the More at Midday section on WSMV.com.